So what's going on guys? Uh, we have this question right here. It's asking given the front entropy, find the true size of the oblique surface A. Show all your work. And this is the oblique surface A. So in order to do that, we have to draw the front view and the top view. So let's construct our front view. So if you construct our front view, so if you see the bottom is four box longer. So I construct that one first. So this is four box longer. I draw it approximately. And this uh, the height is also four box longer. And in two box, it's inclining. So it's going to be inclining in two box like this and in in four box it also is inclining inclining and it's going to be parallel to each other so this is my front view then let's draw the top view if i draw top view it's also four box longer this is the top view right four box longer and in four box it's inclining but uh, the top view is inclining inside and the next one is parallel to this one so this is my top view so we have constructed the front view and the top view so what I have to do is now I have to draw a phantom line in the middle So I have drawn the phantom line. So what I have to do is now I have to number this one. One, two, three, four. So since this is one, two, three, four, this is uh, in in this this one. So one, two, three, four. So from top view. So if you look at this from top view, this part is this part, and this is this part, right? One, three. Two, four. So I have to uh, name exactly as it is here. So if I name it here, this is going to be my two. Why? Because from the top view, this is two. This is two mean. So wait a minute. So from the top view. let's na name it here so we don't get confused one two three four so from the front view this is one here so let's raise it and name it again So here we go. So in front view, this is my one, this is my two, this is my three, and this is my four. From the top view, so if you go this way and inclining here, this is three, and this is four, and this is my one, and this is two. So that's how it is. One two three four one two three four eight. So that's how we name. Then what we have to do is we have to draw a line right here. So it's going to be a straight line along this one. And then we have to construct a phantom line ninety degree to this one. So let's draw this I'm assuming this is 90 degree and drawing this one so this is 90 degree then after that what I have to do is I have to draw the edge view the thing is when you draw edge view you have to measure this distance from here so this distance so let's say it's up here here and this distance from vertical right 90 degree 90 degree distance some people do incline distance is wrong we should measure the 90 degree distance and exactly transfer it from 
here in this one incline is 90 degree right so because whatever the distance we are drawing we have to draw 90 degree to the phantom line so it's going to be yeah so let's transfer let's may let's say this is the distance so this is my this is going to be my edge view and whatever the line we are constructing this line from it's going to be my true length so these two are true length and this is my edge view and then what I have to do is I have to construct a line that's 90 degree to this edge view two lines that is 90 degree to this edge view then I have to draw a phantom line 90 degrees to the constructed line <coughs> So it's gonna be like this. Then from that, from that phantom line, what I have to do is, I this second phantom line right here. So from this, so from this second phantom line, I have to measure this distance. So this two. So let's say this two is like 1.2 centimeter. I have to transfer exact same distance from this phantom line to here. So from one 1.2, it's here let's say this is 1 so it's going to be 1 here and if it's uh, 2 it's going to be here and if it's 2.5 it's going to be right here right so let's draw this one um, if you construct it's going to be exactly within this expanded line of this edge view so this is my edge view and then the final step is we have to name the thing so it's going to be so if you mess up from this one to here it's going to be 2 for here 2 is transfer from this line to this line so it's, we are going to exactly so if it's so the shortest distance right shortest distance is 4 the next one is 2 and this is 1 and this is 3 so that's how we name this one and then we have to label our phantom lines so in this case this is going to be edge so the, the for the top view we say horizontal so that's why it's edge and for the front view it's going to be front view then we have to move to the second one second phantom line i have to name front view whatever the the line is facing front view it's going to be front and this is going to be my one because this is my first auxiliary view so that's why it's one so edge view then then we draw the the final auxiliary view right so this is how we do this one and that's all it is there's nothing else to show so i hope you guys like this video see you next time